Hello everyone, so let me close this guys so we can focus on important stuff. Okay, so today I will talk about the start menu design or exactly UX or user experience. The main point of user experience is the focus on how it behaves compared to how it looks. How it looks is not very important today. In this video, I will talk about how it works and how it's compared to other windows start menus. So the first thing first starts from window dimensions. I checked the how Windows 7 looks like. So the first of all, it has menu, present apps, and overall list of apps and the folders, the your folders, and of course the shutdown menus and user pick. So that's the most common between all Windows versions. So you can see it's pretty much the same concept every time. It's user pick, apps, more apps, user folders, search, apps, user folders, etc. Shut down. So as you may see, there's a couple of differences here. So the Windows 10 has styles. Windows 11 has recommended and it also has search while Windows 10 lacks the search and Windows 7 also has the list style of UI and only list while others use this styled interface. So the first thing that we should consider is familiarity for the existing users, especially Windows 7 users, because they prefer this kind of UI mostly. So I started with the same concept. So we have search, we have all apps, we have apps, the init apps, rates and threads, etc. Doesn't matter the user picture and the user folders and power button. Of course, how we can do this without power button. Okay, so the next step is to find out if we actually need all those innovations or innovations if you call them like that in windows 10 especially and windows 8 as it were and those recommended things in windows 11 so the problem with windows 10 is that it has those categories tiles with different sizes and those live tile thing but the problem is all those things that they actually don't work for most people, I think, at least, at least it never worked for me. So the category thing is problematic because we have to actually have categories and names for every category. And imagining these names is actually not that easy. And I checked the screenshots of other users and they mostly have some random names and random styles in them without any actual meaning. It's mostly just placeholders to have those paintings between apps and it's not actually focused on the names. So I actually decided to remove those things. As you may see, we don't have them. And lifestyle thing is actually also is not very useful because they are not actual widgets. If they are not actual widgets, they are mostly useless. As a matter, I never found how to actually make them useful or productive for me. They just like fun things to have, especially these things. It may show some pictures. Another problem is size difference and it actually doesn't make any sense to have different size because the smaller icons you have, the harder to click on it. And most icons, they're too different between each other. For example, this icon has colors while others black colors. And there's some really weird picture with this weird part, which out of style, obviously. This is really a weird design choice. It's for me. There's a photo and little icon and other icons everywhere. 
this doesn't make any real sense it's just there to annoy you i guess i never had any idea why is it make it like that it's, it's just from windows 10 or sorry windows uh, 8 in, uh, and that's it um, but the nice part of uh, windows 10 start menu is that they have those alphabetic sorting of app folder and this is actually useful and even more useful than windows 7 because it lacks those things and i prefer this compared to categories from linux for example because categories actually never really make any sense because sometimes you find uh, up in the category which is not obvious to you you probably remember the uh, entertainment category from windows xp where they have that sound recorder thing it was super rare because it's not really about entertainment as you know and i never found there are any games in this category either so let's move on to 11. so windows 11 has and other innovations like super large obvious search bar and it actually makes sense because it's all about discoverability here it's about so you know there is search capability in this menu we can type things and search for them while windows then likes this feature and i think this is a good idea even while i'm I'm not sure how well a search works in Windows 11, but anyway. And they have this recommended thing, but it's mostly annoying for people. But I think it's because it's too large, actually. It's, it's really large because I would like to have more apps in. Uh, there's less padding between them, probably, and more columns and more rows. And this all apps button is really, really small click on it if I need more apps so it's kind of counterproductive for existing users who came from Windows 7 for example and I can trust actually what Windows recommends anyway I use recommended apps from iOS interface and it's sometimes worked sometimes it shows wrong application and so it's hard to say if it's actually a good idea or not, at least not today. Maybe in some future when we will have some stronger AI, artificial intelligence in this menu, we probably will find it more useful, but I don't think that today this will work. But anyway, I like the idea of having some dedicated menu of recommended apps because in Windows, then and windows 7 we had this unified list especially on windows 7 where we have all the apps like pinned apps recommended recently installed etc and it's kind of cumbersome to me and i don't like it to be honest i i think it has outdated look at really and not very productive because i can't pin many apps there as you see on the handful of apps no more and in this menu we can actually pin a lot of apps which is super useful because it's basically what we want as a user we want a lot of apps on right in front of apps so, us so we can click on them and open anything we want and we don't care like what the developers of the printing system think about this. I just want a lot of apps here and that's it. But sometimes I need some apps like recently installed, etc. And I decide to make this small menu, which will in future show the recently installed applications here. Yes. And the button like in game UIs that allows you to pin all those apps or discard them. So you can just single click decide what to do with them and don't care about 
it uh, I think it is less annoying and more productive like sometimes you just don't care like a lot of apps install many shortcuts which which are normally not very useful for example md installs this and this and this like we don't care you know and 70 also installs a lot of useful useless shortcuts so we just don't care there and we keep good in future just discard all of them all together and don't care and pin probably one or two shortcuts we, we care and discard other ones so the search bar is designed so we could in future click this button and search in a dedicated windows model pop up like in every single application or a macOS spotlight or search or something like that so we can search there in place or search in multiple dedicated windows so we can search in detail apply search filters etc i think this will work really well uh, it's also duplicated here on the tray uh, i like the everything up at all uh, very much because it's uh, super productive for me i use this almost every day or like on any occasion it's like i want to find some video about say Steve Jobs and I just open everything, just click here and enter jobs and here it all. So I don't have to deal with Explorer, for example. As you may see, this is not a final design. This will be important feature, of course. This is more like a concept or prototype. I haven't really taught uh, for now how to uh, what design it will help. Uh, I designed uh, a lot of small prototypes, but they're kind of controversial. I don't like them, so I don't want to show you them. I will probably post them on Patreon in uh, Insider post, but not in public. So we'll see how it will go. Okay, so that's probably it about the UX, but I'll show you something more like visuals. So you can see it's a side menu, so but you can make it center too, and it has some a little gap here, like on Windows 11, as you may see, which is, I I think it's cool. And let me change paper to alternative and enable blue theme. It looks pretty nice. It's not just decent, it doesn't look alien for an exit in a Windows user like me, for example. Um, I use it every day because I test green chairs every day obviously and it's super natural to you. So it's may look to you kind of controversial for now but I think it actually works it with this design with a lot of Linux applications compared to what we have. Also, you may note that there is a small text of in apps and files. It means that you can actually pin single files and folders or whatever, because in Windows 10, there is a lot of limitations on what you can pin on start menu. It also works terribly slow. It might be, but it's a different question, but in the, here I want to not limit user. I want to provide you what you want to have there, so you will be capable of pinning anything you want. So that's probably it. I'll record more videos about user experience of Greenshirt because there's a lot to talk about. This was a short video. I'll probably talk more in depth in future or write some post on Patreon. I mostly use Patreon as a blog platform because I like the idea of inside the post. So if you want to check 
for more insights, uh, you are welcome to subscribe to my Patreon so you can support the development. Actually, I'm not the only one working on this project. I ask a lot of other people to help me with icons, with drivers, with whatnot. And I plan to hire the developers too, so your support will be very, very valuable to me. I thank you all of existing patrons who supported me for all this time while I haven't uh, much to show <laughs> in this project. <laughs> yeah, but nowadays I finally have some UI to show you. It's really, really awesome. So I can record all those videos finally and show to all of you. Okay, we'll uh, see you next time. Thank you.